recently Resident Evil 4 got a VR reboot and it got me thinking, why is Konami not doing this? And then I remembered, it's Konami. But let's not delve into that too much. Nope. Today I'm going to be showing you something very unique. Something created by somebody out of pure passion for these titles, bringing life back to the staple of survival horror. And that man is Mr. Rob Yeah One, a senior Unity developer for XR, AR, VR, and a digital programmer for AI and 3D. Please go check this guy out, he's done some amazing work. And he is the very reason I'm making this video today. Link will be in the description. But without further ado, let's get into this. Oof. Hello. Thank you very much for joining me today. Would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Rob Farving. I go by the aliases of uh, Robbia1 or Robbia2 online. And uh, I'm a VR developer mainly. Uh, and we're kind of looking through some Silent Hill content that I've been creating lately for basically just making it for the fans, bringing back some of the old classic PS2 assets and bringing it into a more immersive space. And as you all know, my name is Wizzy. Uh, thank you very much for watching today if you're here. Um, I want to say a massive thank you to start off with um, to Mr. Rob, yeah, Mr. Rob himself. You'll see him over here. Um, yeah. Okay, which one should we go with first then? What do you want to do? I would say take your pick. Happy you issues. Sure? Okay, I think yeah, we I should start off. Let's start off with Observation Deck because it's something we mm -hmm. all know. Can you talk me through like why you picked the specific areas you did to uh, to do this. Sure thing. Um, I basically started off with one of these environments and I, I released it just hoping hoping that someone would notice it. So I posted on Reddit and loads of forums and some people got back and asked for different environments. So I kind of just started thinking like, what ones can I actually do? And this is one of the main ones I wanted to do because it's just such an iconic scene, I think. 100%. This is something that everybody's familiar with um, in Silent Hill. I mean, you ask anybody who's played Silent Hill, what's the, what Silent Hill did they play? Silent Hill 2, of course. And do you know what? Yeah. I must say it's absolutely breathtaking to be... I mean, I know that there's a lot of flat textures. That's how it was on the PS2. But it's breathtaking <laughs> to be in the environment. It feels like you're here. I like the little touch yeah, you did on the registration plate. Yeah, there's Easter eggs like that everywhere. I, I don't want to mess with the textures too much but i realized i was already changing enough just to make this um something you can look around properly anyway well it's very niche it's, it's not as if you're changing it to the point where it's unrecognizable how how long would you say these took to make each environment um it did vary but the first one i made which is room 302 from Silent Hill 4 took uh probably about half a year in terms Gosh. of just, you know not actual man hours but in terms of my free time, yeah, spending no, a couple hours every week. I mean, it's I, I, like I said to you many times before, I wouldn't even know where to start with something like this. I would not know where <laughs> to start. I'd just be like, right, okay, I've got the textures. What do I do with them now? <laughs> oh, the textures Get someone else to do one, it for me. One whole mission. That, that was one part of the mission. Like, if you looked around behind you at the wall. Over here? That, Ooh, God, yeah, I that kind of stretched... <laughs> Back to the left, that kind of stretched off camera, and there was like nothing there, so I had to like add some more to it. This road wasn't complete in the game, it just cut off where you've stood basically. So I thought James has had to come in somewhere here, he's got to have driven around this mountain yeah. range or something. So I built all of that, and the That's... skybox as well <laughs> that was the whole of a texture battle because it wasn't a complete picture like that ah did you have to replicate like yeah. here yeah i used some uh photoshop filters that uh use i guess they say they use ai but they stretch out the image and use like content aware repeating so nice. i added loads of extra mountains and houses to make it fit that's awesome man. you get there <laughs> you can see the edge i think as well like uh, we was discussing just before I started recording about um, Silent Hill and how they've kind of just let the series go redundant. Meanwhile, Capcom mm -hmm. are sat there going, rubbing their hands together because they've got Resident Evil 4 now under the belt. And I tell you yeah. something, Resident Evil 4 is an experience. If you haven't played it on VR, please get it. Oh, absolutely. I'm playing it right now and I'm, I'm loving every bit. 
uh, it's just and and this is why like I'm I'm really thankful, Rob, because at the end of the day, like this is uh, might be the closest we'll ever get to it. And you know, I, yeah. I I've just realised that there's Brahms on there. I never noticed Ooh, that. Damn, before. I didn't actually read those signs. You know, it's weird. And then you obviously get we cool. come. I I noticed that <laughs> when I did my my free playthrough, my free cam yeah, playthrough. Yeah, I don't know. If there's like a a secret message to that. It's really interesting though. Like again, this is a very you know kind of open area. I think they they really should do VR. Like it's a perfect mm -hmm. environment, a perfect atmosphere. For a game in VR, I mean, don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, I, I'm constantly sat, you know, kind of going on about how Silent Hill was revolutionary for its camera angles, etc. Um, oh yeah, to create a form of like feeling of insecurity. Um, but I, I think this would work, like personally. Yeah, I agree. Like, it was kind of part of the reason why I was doing this. Like, I was thinking how you could see these environments from a different perspective and uh, have your own take on it, really. I, I love this one. I think I think this is one of my favorites just because of its exploration. And again, you can pick all of these up, oh, all yeah. of these environments we're exploring tonight. You can get the static versions um, over on the link that I'll put in the description. Please go download them for your Oculus. Mm -hmm. Okay, you pick the next one, Rob. Sure, let's go for... I think we should go to the toilets because that's kind of fitting in line with what we just looked at. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so... I actually did something about maybe a year ago on stream where we messed around with the filters of the capture and increased hue and uh, saturation oh, yeah. and it made this text really clear. Um, I can't remember what it says though. Oh, that's cool. But um, there was really interesting graffiti around the game. There was one um, one part of the game where it says gun to your head, something about guilt, um, which is obviously applicable to oh, yeah. James's situation. Yeah, I, I mean, I had the assumption that some of the scrolling on the wall that you can't read is from the supposed letter from his wife. Ah, I never or looked like at it like that. I've always questioned what the hell this is. We actually used a translator, and it. Oh yeah. So we used a translator, a Google translator, and we found some of these words. They were like cult, die, um, it was from like Arabic or something. It's a classic James Sunderland moment. Yeah, don't put your hand in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, this this is pinnacle. This is when when you first load up Silent Hill Two. This is where you are. This is this is where the the journey starts. And I'm a bit oh, small yeah, to kind of. Scene. I must be smaller than James because uh, I can only just reach the sink and I can only just take a. <gasps> yeah. Um. A few cool facts about this. So I had to scale the environment up to kind of allow you to fit the Oculus menu in. So oh. it's not. This is the only one that's been touched a bit more than it should have by me. I had to stretch it out a bit. That's interesting. Yeah. I couldn't allow the mirror to be reflective because Oculus Quest doesn't support reflective materials in the menu. Oh, and wow. same for this build, I just kind of left it as is. Ew. Like, I had to make a new P texture. I offered what, that, that texture. That? That's my P texture. Not, oh, gosh. Not made from I my just touched P. your P. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, so, what is? <laughs> why? Why did you have to make a new P texture? Because the uh, when I ripped the models from the game, I couldn't actually get the P texture. <laughs> yeah, it's like James's P was like, if it is his, that is, is uh, forbidden. Yeah. <laughs> I went in and I was like, there's definitely something missing. There needs to be more P in this room. Oh yeah, there's um, with the wall textures, there's uh, some parts of the wall that you can't see the texture there's no geometry for it but like yeah. some of this texture extends there's more text i think it's something that i i reckon the community have already looked at any anyway because there's loads of rips of this on deviant art as well but yeah it was just weird that there was stuff unused in there that was kind of looked like it was meaningful for the game um if uh, obviously i had room 302 as my home on oculus right now but if i didn't it would be the nice. toilet it would room be the 302 is my home too I'm, I'm biased but i love it still <laughs> okay, <laughs> next let's go with Bowling Alley next. Nice. This is a home that I haven't released yet, but I'm going to drop it pretty much today. As oh, wow. Recording. Oh, I feel yeah. very special right now. Yeah, so this is like a debut. This is my one of my favorite scenes from Silent Hill 2. And to see it in first person with my own kind of movement, it, it feels, it just feels amazing. Like, just, wait, does that say water? 
That's definitely not water. No, I don't know. Who drinks water out of cans like that? Wash people. I wanted to get a pizza box in, but I couldn't seem to find the model. Oh, yeah, nice. I was going to say that it would that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I was thinking of making one, but I don't want to touch too much. The, the, yeah, definitely, and I, I respect the fact that you kind of pay homage to the fact that you're keeping it the way it's found as opposed to mm. what some people would do where they would just add in loads of shit and it's like, look what I've done. I mean, I'm guilty. Yeah, yeah. I've done texture playthroughs, custom texture playthroughs of Silent Hill. As much as it, it might be kind of like, I don't know, controversial, I, I find it brings new life for me. And, you know, members of the community liked it because, I mean, I had I have Eddie with a supreme cap oh, yeah. and a handlebar moustache. Like, <laughs> it's just bringing life That's back great. to it for me. You can only play Silent Hill 2 so many times before it becomes a bit stale for a while, and then you take a break and then come yeah. back to it. There's a lot of stuff in here that I actually did have to build, because there was a lot of stuff that you couldn't see. If you look to the right, yeah, through the window, I don't know what this window is meant to be, but that room didn't exist before. I've made this room because there was a gap with the planks. But like in the game, it's just like this black darkness that you can't quite see because of the camera, but there is something there. Yeah, there's like the steel plated texture that was just across it in places and it looked like it was part of a room in the rip I had. So I just kind of made the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I totally agree with what you've done. I think at the end of the day, you've put a lot of, you've put a lot of work into this. So you deserve that. Fragile. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The one problem I've always had with Silent Hill is when 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 is when does this exist? When is it? Is it 2004? Oh, yeah. Is it 1980? There's a lot of speculation about when Silent Hill 2 was set, isn't there? I was just like, why doesn't James have a phone? That is very true. Maybe he's a technophobe. Maybe he doesn't like phones. Maybe <laughs> he got. Maybe he was a bit of a deviant on Snapchat and got rid of it. Well, yeah, you could have been cheating on Mary. All right. Yeah. There's a new there's a new theory for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another cool fact here. The uh, the bowling pins at the end of the alley. Yes. They are half a pin. Really? Uh, <laughs> and a lot of this ceiling was missing because it was off outside of the camera view frustrum. Ah. Whatever you call it. So I had to duplicate that ceiling. You'd only see it if you went that far. Yeah, there's half only a half pin. a pin. What the heck? The way to go. I mean, you never come down here. That's what I like about, you know, fixed <laughs> camera angles in games. It's You can be lazy mm. and you can still have a nice look to it. I actually noticed <laughs> the, the, the the numbers are flipped as well. Like they're yeah, mirrored. I wasn't sure what was going on with that. I reckon it was because the resolution of the game was so low that when it was really far away, yeah. you couldn't actually read it on the CRT. When Like, yeah, when you're over here, you can't make, make out what they are anywhere. It'd suck if you're playing bowling in Silent Hill and someone says, winner on row 13. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone's like, yeah. Booed at row 13, that's me, please. <laughs> no, it's me. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's I've brilliant. got pizza. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> pineapple on pizza, disgusting. Here's a question, Rob. Yeah. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? It's a definite yes for me. User disconnected from your channel. Oh, hello. Who the Wait. hell's that? I don't, know who, I don't know who that guy is. Reverse image search on Google. You, might, that... you know what, if I saw Kojima in a texture in this, I would be tripped out. Especially if he's <laughs> making Silent Hills. <laughs> it says here, uh, uh, LS Ford. Uh, um, Buznik oh, Curas. Yeah. It kind of looks like a, maybe like a Spanish... Oh wait, no, there's a bowling ball there. A bowling club. A oh, bowling club. Ah, oh, that's interesting. I never it's noticed bowl. that before. And then these images here, I'm guessing, are just collections of pixels to look like newspaper articles yeah they've reused they've reused quite a lot i noticed those magazines a lot that's cool. they ran out of stuff to put on the walls and they were like can we just have newspapers although i am now thinking if there's something a bit more meaningful to do with james maybe his hobbies true we constantly see things don't we based on james's manifestations yeah and i, I don't see why that wouldn't apply to the magazines being on every single wall in almost every single room <laughs> Well, this is what I like about Konami, or, or uh, what I liked about Konami was the fact that they would reuse a texture and they'd be like, hold on, we're not lazy, there's a meaning behind this. And you'd be like, oh yeah. yeah. The actual thought went into it. Next up, we have Heaven's yeah. Night. I love Heaven's Night. Oh, look at this place. It's, it's actually, iconic, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we see it in two and three. Mm -hmm. um, and Born from a Wish, which is, again, amazing. I love Born from a Wish. 
Um, oh, yeah. That's where I recently. it from. Oh, was it from Bomb from Wish? Mm-hmm. Ah. I need to yeah, find your Easter some... egg in here. I had some stilettos that were left in here somewhere because the character's wearing them, but I think I managed to remove them. They would have been <laughs> on the floor in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> this is a place that we spend very little time in. There isn't really much in here. In, in 3, there's a poster of Maria, I think, on the stage. In 2, obviously, you pass through when you're trying to find Laura after she goes to the hospital or before she goes to the hospital. Um... But it's a really beautiful environment. I mean, I'd definitely have a drink here. I... Oh, yeah. They have the lights on. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, all of them. neon lights Not don't quite do it for me. No. <laughs> Could probably have a little bit of a cleanup as well. I mean, health inspector's going to be oh, like, kicking off big time. Yeah, you know, with COVID restrictions, this place is <laughs> going to be shut down. <laughs> yeah. For <laughs> sure. So There's a little any... Easter egg on the bottles. <laughs> on the bottles. Oh, there we are. Hey. Yeah, I like that. Rub your it's, one beer. Again, it's not like it's not like you're trying to be like, look at it. It's like you pay enough attention, you you're gonna find it. It was gonna be the cookie box. That's uh, like the cereal box that's on the right. But <laughs> yes. I just thought, no, I'm taking too much away. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I was gonna make a comment on cookies because you get seven percent off, which is oh, always good. Bargains. It's an absolute deal. You can't even get Silent those types Hill of deals at Poundland. Only in Silent Hill. You know where to shop. <laughs> <laughs> and butter You're cake. battle with your demons to get those discounts. <laughs> yeah. And so... your inventory can't hold a full pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Survival horror. <laughs> <laughs> you found cookie. But it's, it's quite weird, actually, because, I mean, in a bar like this, you wouldn't expect them to be serving cookies and butter cake, would you? I, mean, I don't know about American no. bars, but... That's still another thing I'm thinking. Has it got something to do with James? Probably has. Because you can actually see these in-game. I've mentioned these multiple times. So it's mm. not like they've just gone, oh, by the way, that looks generic. You know, oh, there could right, be some... the cookies and that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that I know looks... that James had a drinking problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, definitely as well. Yeah. Snack of choice. With the original textures, I mean, again, talk me through, like, the upscaling process. Is it just a matter of AI generation for upscale, or...? Yeah, I didn't I didn't do it for many of these environments, because the textures already look good. I don't want to, like, mess with them. You get, like, black splodges and things coming up. Like, the rust marks here, if you upscaled that, it would look crisper, but no extra detail be added. It would just be like a higher resolution version that's kind of blotchier. It's really weird to explain, but it looks disgusting, I think. Is that because of the pixels being so big? Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, kind of makes amount, sense. The amount of data that's there to, for it to use is just not, not enough sometimes. Like some of these I left, because you can see where someone's like slammed a bottle down on that table, they've made a dent. Yeah. Probably James like sitting here being angry. Oh yeah, it's on this one as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Magazines everywhere. It's just another thing I'm picking apart now, looking back at it, like, what does it all mean? Yeah, there's always meaning to it, so now. There was a lot of interesting texture stuff for this environment, because, like, in the PS2 game, the shadowing at the top of the walls where the pillars meet the wall and there's trim. Yeah. That shadowing was, like, overlaid with some strange, like, opaque texture, but it I couldn't get it to, like, look the way it should. And then they had some duplicates of the wall that had that baked onto the actual texture. Ah. So I was like, screw it, I'll just use the one they've baked down. I don't know what they, they were doing with the rendering. That's interesting. So I had Again, to try and sort that out. I mean, the, the floor texture is the same as the roof, technically. It's just got a different mm. pattern. I mean, this oh, the, again, yeah. with with these, like, there's so many things that you can't physically see. We, we talked about this just before mm. we started recording. You know, there's a lot of things that you pick up on when you're actually playing with a, a VR headset on that you wouldn't usually in the game yeah. because the camera's fixed up there and you're down here, a, you know, a couple of meters away from it. I but, think you that know, actually takes something away from this environment because the way you mentioned it's flipped at the top, um, it almost leads me to think it's, like, the opposite side of obviously James' perspective of his wife mm. which was attractive possibly working there I was assuming I like but that but you don't do that in the game you're looking down 
I like that. And, and this is where they could capitalize on that, because again, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. you look at Resident Evil 4 and you've got the, the gun play and the bang, bang, bang. Oh, <gasps> there's a zombie yeah, pulling a knife out swipe. Like, yeah. you've got that, that action. You've got that, oh my God, I'm actually here. With this, I mean, you can... They, 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 don't, they don't have to say, oh, by the way, our game succeeded off these cameras. I mean, they've got the story. Mm -hmm. And like you said, you've just built a metaphor there that could be a, a, a general description as to why it fits this theme. Because, you know, perspective yeah. is only, you know, in the, the eye of the beholder, should we say. And everybody's oh, yeah. perspective is different. So that's like, that's what Silent Hill is to me, I guess, probably to a lot of fans. It's like your take on it. Yeah, exactly. What do you think happened? Are we ready for this? Room 302. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Oh, it feels good to be this. here. Yeah. This, is, this is probably my favorite one. Just based on the fact that you can tell you've put a lot of effort into this. There, there's a the little Easter egg. Yeah, this is um, a half a year job. Almost. Yeah. A long ass time. And you can see that oh, the work has gone into it. I mean, this is my home. A lot of you guys watching right now in the video might be seeing this while you're browsing through the menu. And it's beautiful. But when you're, like, sometimes, uh, don't get me wrong, this is going to sound weird, but. Like some nights I'll be sat and I'll just put my headset on and I'll, I'll boot this up when we was going through the testing phase. And I'll just be like, this is a nice environment. This is, and I would just walk around and just be like, I'm in Silent Hill. <laughs> like, it's creepy, but it's cozy. Yeah, it is. Here's a question for you, Rob. Go for the it. day that you start, started to do this, what was going through your mind? Like, what did you think? Oh yeah, this is a roller coaster. Like I, you know when lockdown started, the initial pandemic lockdown? Yeah. I was only just starting to play Silent Hills properly then. I went back and I was like, right, I'm going to play every single one and I'm going to appreciate them all for what they are. So I picked up Silent Hill 4, started playing it, and like it was like you couldn't go out and see your friends, you couldn't see your family, you couldn't do anything, you couldn't go to work. And this game was just about like Henry being trapped in his room. He can't go out. Yeah. It was just like... It, it vibed at me really strongly. And I think I was using a lot of VR at the time, and I was like, you know what, it would just be ace if uh, Konami could just redo this game in VR. It, this whole section's in first person anyway, it just makes perfect sense. Yeah. I was like, screw it, I'm going to go do it. I'm just going to go find a way. But I started messaging people, I started messaging people that were on DeviantArt, um, people that were working on Steam VR homes, and we all kind of got together. I was ripping stuff. Um, there's a guy called Killer in Exile who gave me some of the outdoors rip. He did a fantastic job. Wow. And there were some other like people that had rebuilt parts of the room um, and different bits of the geometry. And they shared stuff that like a lot of it I didn't use in the end, so I just ripped the room as it was. A lot of the outdoors I had to thank Killer in Exile for, of course. Yeah. Uh, a lot of it like you had to just kind of do your best to take it out of the game when you see it. Hundred yeah, percent. It's like a labour of love. I like that. I mean, um, it's everyone knows. I mean, it's the reason I started streaming was because I felt some emptiness. And and again, you know, I started off streaming Silent Hill games because there's something I played as a kid that when I was going through a certain mood, I'd, I'd want to sit and play them. And, you know, it's, I, I think that's quite touching. And not knowing that the work that's gone into yeah, this sure. is a personal kind of like goal, a personal journey. Okay, so let's go into the room. So we've got your generic room. I love how this is animated. I feel like if this was stationary, I'd have been like, this isn't right. Yeah, I was <laughs> missing that, I thought. And I can see, I know that the peepee -pee -pee holes are. There yeah, he is. Tons of Easter eggs here. I love this. This is just so... <laughs> I almost feel like Actually, a deviant going. myself. Yeah, you can see our wardrobe. It's just creepy, isn't it? Let's go in there. We'll explore this room first. Oh yeah, so this it's is weird, it's like half a room. Yeah, this is this is Eileen's room. You can see, I guess that's the bed textures. Are these where you've just <laughs> kind of like copied and pasted, like a like a? That's just how it is. Really? It was like that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like you can probably test it against me and do a no clip. But when I got the rips out, that was how it looked, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna leave it. That's that's interesting. It's weird. There's like I mean, nothing that, there. But it's kind of like a palette, isn't it? Where it's like, oh, we've got mm. this texture. And... You know, I like that. That's really interesting. And then here we've got oh, Mr. Yeah. Robbie the Rabbit. Hello, Robbie. He's so cute. 
He is, when he's not pointing at you. And covered in blood on the front that you can't see when you're peeping through. Yeah. That's the thing I like. <laughs> Eileen's handbag. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Is there just little touches here? Yeah, I, I mean, she's a bit weird for having a plant right next to a bed like that, but I'll let her off. Yeah. Has she got anything under her bed? No. You know what? I didn't even think to look. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this is awesome. And obviously we've got the, the, the little... Oh, that's the wardrobe. Um, We've got the brush from the... Uh, when you look through. Oh, yeah. I had to get that just in the spot right in front of you. There's things I had to rip separately like that. I think I that's get... important. It's important though, isn't it, to get it in the shot, because that's what it is. Yeah, definitely. Like, same with this drawer. God, this drawer that's next to the thing in the wall. That was a pain to get for some reason. Really? Yeah, like, you could get the room, and then that just that chest of drawers wouldn't come, because it's an object that moves. Oh! Instantiated. So that... I was, like, trying to get just a copy of it. <laughs> that's ages. interesting. I think, as well, if you're going to do anything like this in the future, you should definitely go down the route of the hauntings. That would be really cool. Oh, yeah. 100%. The... I have got a copy of this that's like uh, the other world version. Oh. Where it's like bloody and it's horrible, but it looks a bit unfinished at the moment. That's that's going to be awesome. Yeah, I would love to have a toggle in the Oculus Home, wherever it is, just to switch to the other version. Yeah, or like um, like a timed event where it just after so long, yeah. it just changes. Oh man, that would scare the. I could animate that. That would be insanely good. <laughs> let me know in the comments if you want to see Rob do that. <laughs> yeah, please let me know. Uh, and again, I'm looking into. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I please, uh, I haven't said this enough. Go check Rob's page out. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, if you want to support him, I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. Um, but if there's anything you'd like to see him do with this, um, or anything you'd like to see him do in general, um, leave it in the comments, because uh, you never know. I love this scene right. where you come up to it and you push you push the button and it's like, I don't feel like eating right now. <laughs> it's like, that's not something right. I've ever had myself, sir. No, <laughs> there was like one that's the, when you go to the shower as well, it's like, I don't want to wash. I was like, I don't want to wash my hands in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> Like, he's not clean. Nope. I mean, Henry is a bit of a planner. His frying pan... Just while we're there, the frying pan didn't have a handle. What? I stressed it out. I think that's why he couldn't eat, because he didn't have a way to hold the pan. <laughs> he should have just welded his lead pipe to it. And you got yeah. a big frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to point that out while we're there. Henry's really interesting, though. Like, I mean, my explanation for Silent Hill 4 and everybody going, ah, oh, Henry's such a boring personality, because the story's not about Henry. Henry got Absolutely. caught up in something, you know, and God, he's got a big toaster. Um, yeah, no, he's nobody. He eats big toast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And has no <laughs> handle on his frying pan. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, like, I think this is really interesting because, again, you don't know much about Henry. You don't get to know much about his past or anything like that. Um, no. So it's it's kind of nice. This room kind of really fits his his persona, and I absolutely love what you've done this. Done with this. Do you want to talk me through these? Yeah. Um. There. I originally released it as a side quest home. They had a competition where you put the logo in. Uh -huh. So I was like, Yeah, I'll do something subtle, and just put it on the fridge. Yeah, but then um, uh, I I've got my own branding. I'm starting to make some game dev tools under the moniker R1 Tools. Ah, oh, I don't have wow. any links for that. But yeah, I I thought I'd put it in as a little. This is the beginning. Hundred <laughs> percent. I will leave the link to that in the description as well. Um, what we got here? Yeah, thank you. Ow. Yeah. So, speaking of the tools, uh, I've been working on like some VR animation tools where. In the game engine, in your level or scene, whatever you want to call it, you can go in and animate your characters in VR while you're in their body with their hands in Ooh. situ. Yeah, so I've made some tools for that that I'm releasing soon, hopefully. And that this is a friend of mine, Immersive Matthew. Yeah. He's he's working on like a VR dark ride that's being released on every VR platform you can imagine. Uh, he's got it's called Into the Metaverse, and I just wanted to get him in there because he's kind of always pushed me to do stuff like that to make tools uh, nice. to go and make stuff that I enjoy so he's on there 
I like this. Who's who's this handsome devil? <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It's beautiful. You you get your own addition to it. Ah, oh, I'm I feel blessed. I feel really blessed. Thank you. His weighing scales by the fridge didn't have uh like part of it was missing for some reason. Another weird thing in the game. Like the block that connects the, the, the top plate to the scale wasn't there. <laughs> okay. So I added that. <laughs> the more you know. I love how those ways got. Kitchen's unfinished. Yeah, I mean, he've got half ripped. I mean, that really bothers me. Yeah. I haven't got OCD, but that really does bother me the whole. Just pull oh. it at the nearest crinkle and just. I think it's saying, it's saying something about Henry. <laughs> He's kind of deformed. <laughs> a bit like I this to, tissue. I had to make sure that looked good. <laughs> <laughs> Here is something that I find really interesting. The shoes. These the shoes. aren't my shoes. There's a big meme behind this, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a closer inspection of his shoes. I can't get that low. But How they do look... they smell? Uh... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> they smell like broken dreams and long lost childhood, if that's a smell. <laughs> And what we do get here as well is we have the kind of first stage of him completing his task. This is after he first, uh, this is after um, Cynthia dies, am I correct in saying that? With the first chain broken? Yep. I loved how that played a part in it. It's something people didn't always notice, I reckon. 100%. And this is the iconic scene here. Feel free to take screenshots. We can actually look through the hole as well. Let's have a look who's out there. Oh, it's Eileen. Hello, Eileen. That's really <laughs> awesome how you've done that, dude. I had to get her in. She's just she's just hanging around. I love it. I mean, you've even texted in the uh, the grocery bag. Oh yeah, she needs her stuff. She has really small shoes. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> she's got little stompers. <laughs> Maybe that's why she's so slow. Oh god, yeah, that would explain everything. <laughs> uh, how hard was this to put into the game? It was a nice little freebie that I got when I, I think I was looking around um, some of the game files and I just found this little scene. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to throw that in. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this is awesome. Being, I, I, I don't know how this works. I'm guessing it works the same as how a sniper scope would work in VR, where it's just a block of magnification. Yeah, yeah it's, the, it's the glass material I put in there. That's really awesome, dude. Good job on that. Added it in. Yeah, I had to change the geometry a little bit just to put that there, but I think it's worth it. Oh, definitely. 100%. <laughs> For the wandering eye. Anyway, it's a storage slash cleaning room. It's really nice. I like it. He's got a sleeping bag. Yeah, this is a dingy little room, isn't it? Very. I mean, it, it's a nice little room to clean in. I mean, he's got bold two in one, which is always good. At least he's not <laughs> cutting back on everything in life. He's not um, going to smell. No, exactly. There's like boxes at the bottom that, because you didn't, you could never look quite right around the TV. They would stick out the side, like where you're looking there. They stick out the left. I uh, think I had to do that in the tool room. Like, oh, there might be something clipping through still, like a book. Uh, yeah, it's a VHS tape. Ah, uh, yeah. But I just something I just left as is. I thought I don't, I don't want to keep. No, I never noticed that before. Yeah, Wait, can you see yeah, where the the wires go? Oh no, they just disappear. No wonder his TV yeah. didn't work. It wasn't even <gasps> plugged in. Well, someone must have gone around and done that. <laughs> Suspicious. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, yes. Look at this room. The bathroom. Yeah. I had a lot of internal debate over whether to... I've got a clean version of this bathroom and this version. And I was like, which has more personality? Yeah, for the this hole one. in the wall. Definitely. Yeah. This is... um. Head in. Wait, I can poke my head. Oh, God, that feels weird. Spooky. Can I go through? <laughs> ah. <laughs> you see the street. This is where you get the uh, the pipe for the first time. Mm -hmm. Um, He seems to have a bit of a blockage in his toilet, though. Never Does noticed that plunger? before. I can't remember. Uh, Does he have anything to do with that? No. Whoa, he's got a dressing gown? I never knew this. Yeah, it looks a bit dirty, I thought. This is really interesting. Again, you can't usually see this, can you, in first person? I guess maybe if you stood nope. here, but getting up close to it. I don't remember ever being able to see that in the game, actually. I think the door was open even further across than that. So did you have to model these doors in at a different angle? Yeah, I made those doors separately, the textures. 
Wow. I kind of made them uh, move aboard the hinge just so I could sort that out. Okay, that's really, really cool. Yeah, every single door in this room I had to do that. And um, what do we have here? Ro Ro Ronix. It's not head Ro and shoulders. Roxix. Yeah, head and shoulders. All in one, because he has a he has a lot of hair. He needs to look out. He needs he needs to look after that. Yeah, I wouldn't be washing in that for in that bath. We using that I'm, shower. Could you even lay down in this? Let me try. Oh. Okay, it's not too bad. <laughs> I actually think you might have been the first person to lay down in this bathtub. <laughs> this is the first time for everything. I don't think I'd like to Plain take a clean. bath in here. I'd probably get tetanus. But yeah, oh, that's there's another thing. Ah, oh, go on. If you look up at the uh, wall where it meets the corner, uh, by the by the shower rail on the right, like this where way? it's kind of weird on the corner. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. When you're AI upscaling, a lot of that stuff seems to appear, seems to like crack out of the textures. But that that seemed to just be the texture as it was. So I was like, it looks weird, but that's what the effect looks like with the with the AI upscaling looking wrong. That's interesting. Didn't know that. You have the good old uh, mother room, Walter room behind there. I mean, obviously. Nah. It's not I in don't this have one. that room. I will try and find it for you. If anybody has that room in the comments, let me know, please. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that would be cool to add in. I genuinely got... I didn't notice that was a giant... <gasps> it's a lighthouse, I guess. I'm assuming it's somewhere in Silent Hill because a lot of it was like photography you took of Silent Hill. Oh, it was, like, wait, stuff yeah. On the yeah. desk. That's clearly Eileen. I, I think. think like, is that Alyssa? That... Ooh, that actually could be. He's got pictures of Silent oh, Hill. Oh yeah. Know that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That could be Alyssa. Yeah. Because I know Joseph, Joseph or Jasper was into his. He was an investigator, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think him and um, Douglas Cartland, I think they cross paths at some point. Definitely. Yeah, I think they do. They gotta. And the picture on the bed has to be. Is that Toluca Lake on the bed? I'm not sure. Yeah. Definitely. That's gotta be Toluca. Yeah. Let's check I'll under Jim's table. <laughs> Let's check under his bed. Noth nothing under there, not even a key. I didn't even think to look under that bed. <laughs> because the bed cover's texture is pretty much on the ground, you wouldn't think to check it, would you? Nah. It's only because I checked irons. It kind of looks like there's something under his covers, though. Yeah, that creep that always creeps me out. It's just a texture. Oh, <laughs> if you saw something under there, I'd freak out, because I wouldn't have even <laughs> seen it. I'll edit something yeah, like, in on the you. video. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I have, had a lot of trouble with that table. Really? That table was also really hard to get hold of because it's like more of a dynamic asset for some reason. Did you check IKEA? <laughs> yeah, I should have done. <laughs> they don't make stuff out of wood anymore. <laughs> Obviously, like something that I never noticed before, all the lights don't actually have light bulbs. It's one What's of my favorites this? too. Oh my god, I don't even know what that is. I don't think I've ever seen that. What have you yeah. found? I don't know. It kind of looks like light, maybe? Is there anything through the wall? Oh. Uh. Oh, there's like a plate. Uh. I don't That's even weird. know. That's cool. I almost start thinking there's like a, uh, a steel sheet that's underneath it. I'm assuming it's something the camera never goes to in the game, so they've just left the texture edge. Yeah. Like ambiguous, and there's some other texture overlapping. I think we should do a little bit of outside exploration because this is a big map. Oh yeah, and I too. yeah, I, I, I noticed this before. This is reused textures from. Yep. Here. Yeah. It's quite the way interesting. It's like mapped out. <laughs> so <laughs> I did animate some... the cars, not in this build. I think maybe I sorted them out. In the quest home, there is a car that's driving around. Oh I wow! I didn't know that. I think he's glitched out in this build, and it's uh, it's just sat at the top of the road. Let's have a look. And then I obviously had some... Every time I played this game, I had... Oh, look, there it is. I always had an issue with the cars in this game, because 
when you look out the window, I mean, you see that, you think BMW M3, but it's a <laughs> fucking SUV. It's freaking huge. Like, I don't even think they did BMW SUVs with that ship. And then the back looks like a Range Rover. You needed to plow for the ghosts that are flying around. <laughs> and that looks like a hearse. Oh man, that would be deep if that if that was a hearse. <laughs> and they're foreshadowing something. What does that say? I can't read it with my Oculus. Panda Postal? Yeah, it's got a little panda on it. That's interesting. I never saw that. And then VH. Yeah. VRDHR. Some kind of concert they've made up. That's really cool. But again, you can't see this when you're. Look at how far the room is away. You can't see oh, any God, of this. Yeah. Especially on the PS2 resolution. So Akira Yamioka is selling his CDs there. Buy them now. <laughs> but not making another Silent Hill soundtrack, unfortunately. Wow. He has teased that something's going on. Ah, don't do this to me. I've be I've given up hope now. Oh, Everywhere man, I, I'm just clinging onto it. <laughs> Everywhere leads to Copper Road. I've just noticed. Copper like Road, I said, that way. Not going anywhere. Yeah, it's a I metaphor. Circles. Yeah. It was meant to be that way. Look, Copper Road that way. Which way is Copper Road? Can you imagine being a Deliveroo uh, driver in the city? Oh god, yeah, most confusing intersection ever. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it never actually yeah. came this far. So we got Niflheim. Niflheim. That, that sounds well like it. Close door. Sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> Coles Re Re Regan? Regals? Re Regans? Coles Re Regas. Regas? Regas? I'd love to know what some of this stuff means, if anyone knows. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Out. Okay, talk yeah, me through that. Is good. that your... Well, <laughs> the skybox just seemed to have a square missing from it. And okay. I figured no one's ever going to see it, but that square is there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's staying there. <laughs> yeah. The blue square of death. Don't go near it. It's there, and you've got the horizon line, and then there's nothing underneath that skybox because <laughs> you can never see that low. Nope. <laughs> really cool. And then we've got yeah, the, the abomination there again. Mm -hmm. It's weird because these are the same things as over there music boxes, but yeah. they're such low resolution. You literally can't read that. And these like look like the middle of the Yeah. But like, they're crazy details of what they are. Yeah. Like, that's just unnecessary. It's cool. And then they've got your one-way textures, which is something I haven't seen a lot of. Hey. I think that's pretty cool, though. That looks like it's made up with a lot of different textures. Yeah, I think that's just something that is so far away they didn't even care. Well, that, that all the rips just kind of... What even is it? I don't... What? What the hell is that? It looks like a road sign. Yeah, it probably says Cooper Street as well. <laughs> these are, I found these really oh, interesting. Wow. It's a shame I can't go down to the level to, to further inspect oh. them. But... There's a I lot mean, of this... little people in there. That got yeah, it, this used to really creep me out. Like This was the one oh, thing yeah. about um, Silent Hill 4 that really <gasps> fucked me up when I first played it was there's all these people watching me and they're not mm. doing anything. Oh yeah, the guy sat the guy that's just sat there staring. That tripped me out. Do you remember you the one with Walter? Oh, oh, was he stood in one behind people? Where it... He was just stood in, like, just... this one here? No, this one. Yeah. He was just stood there. And it's just, like, that man again. That's so creepy. They were the type of things that really messed me up with the hauntings, because they were different each time you played through. I think when... The head like flies down. You look out the window here. That that really upset me when I saw it. it I haven't so seen that one yet. Oh, man. I can't remember what you have to do. It's something to do with the alley alleyways portion when you're uh, doing the streets. There's there's a really weird haunting that I've never seen before in like maybe a hundred playthroughs where I was going for mm. twenty one sacraments, and when I looked out of the the hidey hole, it was Henry mm. with blood all over his face, like murmuring like Walter does. Really interesting. Okay, so the sh** coming from the, the, the hole this time. Let's have a look. Ooh! I don't remember that being a thing. Uh, it was really creepy. creepy. But he sees himself. Yeah. That's so creepy. If you look down behind you now... Oh! That is a mirror of his room. 
What the Why? heck? Very strange. It's flipped, right? Uh, yeah, it's so weird. I think they needed a backdrop for one of the rooms, though. Yeah. I mean, that's you kind know, of like awesome. I never noticed reuse. that. Yeah, that, that was the one thing that tripped me out when I was uh, sorting those flats out. I can't, I can't get any lower, though. And I think even if I was to lay down, I wouldn't be able to see through. <laughs> no, just off. Just off. So close. But this is, the, again, I mean, this is the biggest one, and I, I want to say a massive congratulations for what you've created. Like, uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> it, honestly, when I first came across it, I was I was breathtaking. My breath was taken away. Like, I, I remember stood here, and I was oh, yeah. like, holy <gasps> f this is my new home in, in, in Oculus. <laughs> um, and, and fun fact, like, I spent so many weeks trying to figure out a way to do this and move around. And then I just was like, do you know what? I'm going to get in touch with the dude. And honestly, I'm really, really glad I met you, Rob. Like, thank you so much for what you've done for oh, yeah, us for here. Sure. This is above and beyond. You've gone above and beyond for everybody. Oh, yeah. I've been happy to help out. I mean... Please go check out um, the links in the description. Go give this guy a thank you. Support his cause. Again, if you've got any suggestions that you'd like to give for him in terms of what we've got here... Go send them to him. Leave them in the comments. I'll leave a link to our Discord. Please go give this guy a massive thank you for what he's brought us today. And keep tuned in as well for what he's going to bring in the future. Last question for you, Rob. What is the direction of this? What is the end goal? Are you allowed to tell me? Yeah. Um, so when I started, this room had about 100 textures for everything. And I crunched it all down into like one or two textures by like atlasing it, putting it all next to each other. So I've made loads of headroom to put more stuff in. I think there's still performance headroom on the quest as well. So I would yeah. just like to get some hauntings in, get some animated ghosts, uh, just some of the uh, scripted events from the game, but I don't want it to be looping so much that when you're using it as your home in an area, there's just constantly a ghost in your face. <laughs> yeah. so I'm still thinking about how best to do that. But Some that people might like that. Yeah, I think so. I think you should definitely keep up the hard work because, uh, again, I, I wouldn't know where to start with this, and you've done a an amazing job. Cheers, man. But I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, again, please go check it, uh, the uh, links out in the description. Go give him a massive thank you for what he's brought us today. Because again, bringing life back to something that's been left to die is just it's just so wholesome. It's lovely to see. And and again, if you want to experience this yourself and you've got an Oculus headset. Go, go head over to the links. I'll link them all in the description. And go download it for yourself and try it out for yourself. Because, you, you honestly, it it just feels amazing. It feels amazing to be here. Well, yeah. The more people that download it as well, the more people get to see it. Because it will hit the hot charts on SideQuest. And I just hope Silent Hill fans just get their headset and go check out the homes. And they're like, oh, wow, there's Silent Hill homes. Let's go. Do it. Do it now. So Do it now. i to be using them. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this experience that was gifted to us by Mr. Rob Year One. Be sure to sub and hit that bell button so whenever I upload, you get to see that straight away. I'm hoping to be bringing some more content like this in the future, as well as some other mini playthroughs and some more retro as well. But thank you very much for tuning in. As always, I have been Wizzy, you have been awesome, and I'll hopefully catch you in the next video.